Welcome to everything Amtrawise, I am CA and today in this video I am going to show you how to download and install BlueJ for Windows and then I will show you how to run a Java program on it. So let's get started. So the very first thing that you need to do is open a web browser and there you need to type BlueJ. Now you need to head over to the official site of BlueJ that is www.bluej.org and now we are on the official web page of BlueJ. Before downloading BlueJ, we need to determine which type of an installer that we want. Either we want 64-bit installer or a 32-bit installer. So one note for Windows 11 users is that they can straight away download the 64-bit version of BlueJ. And for Windows 10 and below, we need to determine which version is actually needed by our system. So in order to check which bit our computer is running on, we need to open this PC for Windows 8 and above and for Windows 7 and below, you need to open my computer. And now you need to right click on the blank area and then you need to click properties. Now in the system type, it is mentioned 64 bit operating system x64 based processor. This means that my computer is running on a 64 bit version of Windows. But if there is mentioned 32 bit in any of these two statements, then this means that your computer is running on a 32 bit version of Windows. So depending upon the bit of our Windows, we will be downloading 64 bit or a 32 bit version of BlueJ. So let's get back to the web browser. In order to download the 64 bit version of BlueJ, you can directly click on this link and it will download the most recent version of BlueJ. I will not download it again because I have already downloaded BlueJ before. And for downloading the 32-bit version of BlueJ, you need to scroll a bit and then you need to click on this link that is uh, download BlueJ 4.1.4 instead and scroll until you find version 4.1.4. In this section, click on MSI installer and it will download the 32-bit version of BlueJ. So once you have downloaded the BlueJ files, you need to run the installer. So I'll close the web browser and I will go to the downloads folder. Now you need to double click on the downloaded file. Now the setup wizard is in front of us. Let's click on next. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next. And click on install. Now you need to allow the installer in order to proceed. So click on yes. And the installation will start. It will take some time. So wait for it to complete. So you can see that the installation is complete. Click on finish. And we have successfully installed BlueJ on our system. Let's see how to run BlueJ. So you can see that a shortcut icon has appeared on our desktop. You need to double click on it to open BlueJ. So for the first time it will open up this small box. So you just need to click on no thanks. And then it will open up the BlueJ workspace window. In order to run a Java program, we need to create a BlueJ project. And for that you need to click on project. And then you need to click on new project if you want to create a new project. But if you want to open an existing project, like if you have used BlueJ before and you have all of the projects present there, you need to click on uh, open project and then you need to select the project that you want to open. But I don't have any projects currently, so I'll click on new project. And it will ask for the name of the project. So let's give it a name as demo. So in order to choose the location where the files will be present, you need to click on choose. And my favorite location is to save all of the projects in my desktop. So it is totally dependent upon you whether you want to save it in any other location. But my preference is desktop. I'll go to desktop and I'll select this folder. And it will select my desktop as the project directory. And it will create a new folder named demo. Click on OK. And now you can see that our project has been created and you can see that a file is now present in our desktop named the demo. So when you open it, you'll see that there are only two files uh, by default. These both are actually not of our interests. So let's close it. Now in order to run a Java project, we first need to create a Java class. So for that we need to click on new class and then it will ask for the name of the class. So let's give it a name as test program and then click on OK. So you'll see that a class has been created. Double click on it to open the editor. So you can see that a default Java code has been generated by BlueJ. So I'll delete everything here and I'll write a new program. So I've written a very simple program which will uh, print a message on the console. So once you have written your Java code, you need to compile it. 
so you need to click on this button to compile the java code and you can see below that the class has compiled without any syntax errors so in order to run the java code what you can do is you need to minimize this tab and then you need to go to the workspace bluej workspace and then you need to right click on the class that we just created and then you need to click on void main so when you click on it you will get this small dialog box in front of you click on okay and you can see that we have got the message on the console one more thing that you might find useful is clearing the output screen each time the program has run so for that what you need to do is click on options and then you need to click on this option that says clear screen at method call so this will erase the outputs from the previous run and the console will contain outputs from only the current execution i find this function very useful and might help you as well so this is how we can run java programs on bluej if you face any problems you can comment them down i'll try to fix them as soon as possible you can also contact me on instagram so this was all for this video and i'll see you in the next one